dig and work together. And like the space race of 50 years ago, FIRST offers this same dynamic combination of incredible resources, technology, information, mentorship, and individual resourcefulness to the FIRST participants. It's exciting to think about the impact so many of you will make in our world over the next 50 years. You're the generation who will lead the world into its next chapter here on earth and beyond. Rage. Would you be willing to blast off into the world of the unknown with some of these students? All right, all right, yeah. All right, all right. Rage, of course, is from Dalton State College. Welcome her. You'll see her around. All right, all right. Now, it looks like Rage is ready to get started on her adventure exploring space with some of you. So she's going to head off into the world of the unknown right now. Let's give her a hand. Thank you, Rage. Woo! All right, now, here in Dalton, we've got some great teams competing here this weekend. Many of the teams are veterans, and we have some rookie teams as well. So let's welcome the rookie teams. And give yourself a hand for being here. This is a great event here in Dalton. All right, so before we get started in the match play, we need to hear from our first founder, Dean Kamen, dis distinguished advisor Woody Flowers, and first president Don Bosey. Check it out. Welcome to Destination Deep Space, presented by the Boeing Company. It's almost time to blast off. Working with your partners in deep space, you're going to make this another graciously professional event. First Works, due to all of your mentors, teachers, parents, sponsors, suppliers, and our terrific event volunteers, including many FIRST alumni. They've led the way with their dedication, leadership, and talents. So be sure to thank them all for helping you on this fantastic journey. You continue to impress with your creative design, your teamwork, and your resolve to help FIRST make this a better world. So a big thanks from first to you. You really are out of this world. Continue to think big while having the hardest fun you'll ever have. And good luck to all. It's time for Destination Deep, Deep Space. Space. Thank you, Dean, Woody, and Don. Now, before I introduce our first speaker, let's thank the Boeing Company. They're our season-long sponsor this year. So let's give Boeing Company a big round of applause. And you know, Boeing is going places and at the leading edge of space exploration and doing it with teamwork, much like FIRST. Check it out. All right. <laughs> It's now my pleasure to introduce our first speaker to welcome you on behalf of the city of Dalton. Please give a warm welcome to the mayor of the city of Dalton, Mr. Dennis Mock. Thank you all, and thank you for being here. Um, my job is pretty easy. I give you a big warm welcome to Dalton, Georgia, and uh, we are so happy you're here. You know, this is probably my favorite event of all every year to come here and do this because uh, I get a little bit of a headache. There's so much mental energy going on here and it, I don't have any protection and it's all going right in my head and this is great. Um, when they were talking about teamwork, you know, if you could connect all the heads in here and, and plug it into one, one computer or whatever, you'd have so much, uh, so much intelligence, so much energy and... Uh, I'd love to own a company that had all these brains in here. It'd be great. Um, I want to thank you for being here, but I also want to thank you for the time, the effort, and um, the, the dedication you have to this, this, uh, uh, this event and um, what, what it uh, means to your futures. Um, I've been through some of the similar things as your parents, as your coaches, as your teachers, as everybody that puts time and effort into this, and um, 
it's well worth it. The, the results for your futures are, are very good. Um, I want to thank the folks from Dalton who have put time and effort in here. This takes a lot of uh, effort to put on an event like this, and we have a lot of moving parts that have put this together. Volunteers from all over, um, teachers, parents, like I said, and you students who put in the time. So congratulations. Thanks for all your hard work, and thanks for being in Dalton. And thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, this competition is only possible with the support of our local sponsors. And representing one of those sponsors, Dalton State College, please welcome their president, Dr. Margaret Venable. Welcome, everybody, to Dalton, home of the Dalton State Roadrunners, where we run boldly. I suspect a lot of you are going to run boldly today, too. We're excited to watch you have this experience. Where I'm excited for you to have the opportunity to be here today because we are always impressed with what you can do. I know you've been working hard. You've probably got some butterflies in your stomach, but we're excited for you. I want to acknowledge there are a lot of uh, familiar faces here. I recognize as Dalton State employees, but this kind of event doesn't happen without volunteers. Can we give uh, some recognition for our volunteers, all of our volunteers. All right, but thank you. Uh, I wish you great luck, of course, but I also hope that you don't forget the most important thing is to have fun. And I'm not doing my job if I don't say before I leave here that I hope when you get ready to look at colleges, you consider Dalton State. Thank you and welcome again. All right, thank you, Dr. Venable. Now, please join me in welcoming to the field, representing another one of our incredible sponsors, Dr. Heidi Popham, Executive Vice President of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Good morning. This has to be one of the most exciting events that we participate in each year. Georgia Northwestern Technical College serves nine counties across Northwest Georgia. We have six campuses, one of them which is here in Dalton. We are opening a brand new building uh, later this spring and we're very excited about the new programs that we may offer there. Um, for our young team members that are here today, congratulations on reaching this qualifying event. Um, you represent young minds, the best and the brightest young minds across the state. Congratulations for everything that you do. Have fun. And one day we hope to see you on one of our campuses in the future. Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Popham. Now, you know, this event wouldn't be possible without the support of the local community and its businesses. So let's give a warm welcome to the president of the Greater Dalton Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Rob Bradham. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Great. I'm glad to hear that. The mayor has already welcomed you to Dalton, but I'm going to do it again. We love having you guys visit our town. Our community, Dalton, Georgia, as your MC mentioned, is the carpet capital of the world. This town is what it is today because of innovation and entrepreneurship in the floor covering industry. And when I look around this room, I see a lot of young innovators and a lot of potential entrepreneurs. And we welcome that in this community and we love having you guys here. Now, before I go, can I ask you to help me celebrate something? Y'all wanna do that? Give me a round of applause if you wanna help me celebrate. Where, where is my friend RJ Walker? You want to stand up? This young man right here got a special delivery today. RJ got his acceptance letter to Georgia Tech this morning. Can we give him a round of applause? Congratulations, RJ. He's from one of our local teams, the Fighting Mongooses. I wish you all much success today and tomorrow, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't say, go Fighting Mongooses, go Dalton Catabots, and, and go North Murray Mountaineers. Thank you. All right, all right. 
Thank you, Mr. Bradham. And now, please welcome, please join me in welcoming to the field, representing one of our incredible machine shop and so much more, Mr. Brian Griffin, Area Manager Dalton, External Affairs for Georgia Power. Hey, you guys are awesome. It's, it's great to be a part of this program. It's great that Georgia Power can be here to help support your efforts. You guys, as, as Mayor Mock said, y'all got a lot of brain power in this room. Uh, and you got a big future ahead of you. I was talking with an individual earlier. Did you know 90% of the careers that you guys will be working, we don't even know what they are yet. But you guys are sharp, you guys are smart, and you figure out problems. It's exciting to see what you do. And one last thing I'll say, and we can get this thing started, is that Georgia Power wants you. So put it out there. Go out there and stay with the STEM programs and get, get, get as smart as you can get because we want you and we need you. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bradham. All right, now it's time to recognize our volunteers in the blue shirts. These are the judges led by our judge advisor, Mr. Patrick Spence from Shaw Industries. Good morning, Dalton. I am privileged to be here this morning. Oh, are we live now? All right, good morning, Dalton. Sorry about that. I am privileged to be here this morning along with my team. I'll be your judge advisor for this event. We're excited to see everything that you're proud of and see really what you've done this year and for this challenge. I would like to introduce my team. First up is Samantha Blair. The Associate Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Dalton State. <laughs> Seth Derlow. Business Solutions Portfolio Manager at Shaw Industries. Michael Edwards. Electronics Program Director from GNTC. Chuck Fink. Associate Professor of Biology at Dalton State. Randy Graff. Process Engineer from Shaw Industries. Randall Griffiths. The Dean of Science, Technology, and Math at Dalton State. Brian Haynes. Technical Director with the Kimberly Clark Corporation. Greg Higdon. CTL Expedited 3PL Operations Manager with Shaw Industries. Stephen Hovey. Systems Engineer and Technical Lead, Averna, Georgia FTC Affiliate Partner. Nancy Hunley. She's retired from the Tennessee Valley Authority, Virginia Power in Richmond. Lonnie Johnson. CEO, Johnson Research and Development. Yuli Lopez. Senior HR Manager at Shaw Industries. Sue Miller. Product Owner, Mag Mutual Insurance. Hussein Muhammad. Associate Professor of Biology at Dalton State. Leslie Rush. Chief Watershed Officer, Dalton Utilities. Kevin Shrump. OMT Analyst at Shaw Industries. Jack Zhao. Associate Professor of Physics from Dalton State. Dwayna Crawford. Mom and Mama retired from my life. Again, thank you so much for having us here. Please don't be intimidated. Talk to us. We're, we're excited to see you out in the pits, excited to see everything that you have. Again, thank you so much for having us here, and go Dalton. And thank you, Patrick. Now, they're going to be coming around to talk to you and learn about your team. Many of these pe people work at companies where they want to hire you someday. So ask them about their jobs. And judges, let's thank you for your time and efforts. You've got a difficult job and task ahead. And thank to work with this great group of teams. Let's give the judges a hand. All right. Now there's another group of volunteers you'll get to know here on the playing field. Their job is to ensure fair play, to help you play within the rules of the game, and to help all the teams compete like crazy while remembering their gracious professionalism. Their rulings are final, and there will be no video reviews. Please welcome your referees led by head referee Kevin Silver with Kendall Electric. There he is. <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, we're excited to be here today. We're going to have a, uh, a really uh, seasoned group of referees that have been out several matches, uh, several years. Start off with uh, Barney Holt. Then we have Emil Decker. We have Damian Abel. Then we have Radhika Raji. And then Reg Thomas. All right. 
Guys, we're here, we're excited to be here, and we're looking forward to a great couple of days. Thank you. And along with a fair competition, safety is a priority at first. We want you to have fun and be safe at the same time. So please, welcome our lead safety advisor, Tammy Christensen and Eddie Denton, both from UL. There they are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. And congratulations to Team 5348 Charger Robotics from Coqueto, Minnesota, for their terrific award-winning safety animation. Let's check it out. There's always a lot to do before a rocket launch, but safety should always be the number one priority. Always get plenty of sleep. It's important to stay awake and play it safe. Protect your eyes, hands, and feet with the proper attire. Keep your hair tied back and no loose clothes. Always make sure to secure parts before cutting. In case of emergencies, read up on your team's safety procedures and always power down the robot before working on it. With all the proper precautions taken and the work done, we're ready to blast off. All right, all right. Once again, safety is important. Remember to wear those safety glasses over the eyes and make sure you have on those closed-toed shoes. Now, speaking of safety, here at the event, we'd like to make sure you and your team have a safety plan. Mentors, please communicate to your team where you will meet in the event of an evacuation. And note the nearest exits excuse me, from both the pits and the arena. In the event of an emergency, please listen to the announcements in the field area and in the pits for specific instructions. Now, in FIRST, you learn a lot about engineering, computer schools, business, interpersonal skills, time management, and grit. Educators and companies recognize that you gain these skills and they want you. Nearly 200 colleges and universities are making available over $80 million in scholarships specifically to FIRST participants and alumni as part of the FIRST scholarship program. And companies are also interested in hiring you as interns and ultimately as their employees. You can find out about the opportunities online to help you continue to achieve the mission of FIRST. Let's hear a little bit about the impact of FIRST after high school. It allows me to volunteer and give back to the community. I think FIRST can really prepare you to solve any number of the world's big problems. The skills that you're going to be learning can completely change the future. Isn't that great? Yes. All right. Now, in first, we have one award which recognizes individual students, and that's the Dean's List Award. Well, all of those students who have been nominated by their team as a Dean's List Award semifinalist, please stand and be recognized.
All right. We want to wish you all the best of luck in your interviews today, and thanks for being such great leaders. Now, mentors and coaches, you are critical to the first experience. You are part of the millions of strong support system we have built for our students in, here and around the world who are realizing their dreams, big or small, and they need encouragement to reach for the stars. We know that many of you are mentoring teams from other FIRST programs like FIRST LEGO League, LEGO Junior, FIRST LEGO League Tech Challenge. Well, here's something new to help you mentors get started with FIRST LEGO League or FIRST Tech Challenge systems. There's a program called Jumpstart, which helps prepare new teams for their first competitive season by providing up to four additional months of coding and robot building practice. There's the PowerPoint right there on the screen. You can help the first community grow by sharing this opportunity or starting a team of your own. Learn more about Jumpstart at first, inspires.org, backslash FLL Jumpstart, or backslash FTC Jumpstart. The Jumpstart registration is open through April 15th. And now a big thanks to all the mentors and coaches for your dedication and efforts on behalf of FIRST. Let's give them a big hand. At FIRST, we're going to meet you wherever you are. Whatever your age or ability, there's a FIRST program for you. So just go to the FIRST website, firstinspires.org, for more information on any of these programs. And you can check out the other FIRST programs here on display this weekend out in the lobby, where you can also find out information on the FIRST alumni and scholarship programs as well. All right. It's almost time to head to Planet Privates. But before we set the robots into action, ladies and gentlemen, Please stand for the national anthem and for the presenting of the colors by the Dalton High School Junior ROTC and the singing of our national anthem performed by Stephanie Woback from the Greater Dalton Chamber of Commerce. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous path or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red the bombs bursting Great job. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. And now it's that time here on Planet Primus to start our missions for the tournament this weekend. 
So let's get the robots ready on planet Primus. Are you ready for it to start and get going? I said, are you ready for us to start and get going? All right, all right. We're out in space, you know, and sound doesn't travel that well, so we need to really hear it. All right. Destination Deep Space, sponsored by the Boeing Company. Now, you're going to be hearing some other voices this weekend, either out on the field or doing the game announcing. Mr. Paul Smith, Steve Sneed, and Mr. Jerry Dye. Good morning, Dalton. All right, all right. As you know, we're getting ready for the robots to start up. But what we have is something new at first, Georgia, here this year. Peach Talk. How many of you have heard of Peach Talk? We're trying to improve communications in the pits, get up to the 21st century and beyond. Take a look.